Have you ever used rich text boxes? They are pretty cool. All this nice text animation? There's no code for that. To do shaky text, you just write shake around your text. To do some rainbow, you just write rainbow around it. To get some random different colored text in your label, you just say color is red. And you got lots of effects out of the box. So if I want to do a fade, tornado. And you can even write your own text effects. So anything wrapped in type and emit will type. And the code for that looks like this. We have to make a tool script. We say extends rich text effect, and then we give it a class name. You can call it whatever you want. And then we have to define a variable called BB code and say, what's the name of our tag? And then there's a process function. So this isn't a node. It's a bit weird, but it's kind of like it. Or this process function gets called once per character per frame. And then in the car effects transform, it tells you, oh, I'm operating on whatever the 10th character. And this is the amount of time that's gone by. And our process function just uses the elapsed time to show more and more cars as time goes on. Now, once you have all this code written, you have to do one more thing. You come down to custom effects, increase this by one, then in the drop down, pick your custom rich text effect. It should just appear here if you made it a tool script and extended from rich text effect. So maybe you already know about rich text effects, but you might be looking at this and saying, hey, how is there a signal on a rich text effect? Because a rich text effect is a resource and a reference. So it's not part of the node tree. How are we actually connecting that? And I'm showing you here because I haven't seen anyone else do this, probably because it's a stupid idea. The rich text effect node has these custom effects exposed as a property. So all I have to do is loop over the custom effects. And if the custom effect is my custom effect, then we just connect the signal. So that's rich text effects. They're really, really cool. Um, if you've got a game with lots of dialogue and stuff, this is a really low effort way just to make everything pop and look really professional. If you have any questions about that stuff or you want to rage at me for this really, really ugly signal hack, which, which I know is a lot of problems, I'm just kind of showing you that it's possible, then yeah, just leave me a comment. And, and if you want to support me, I'm going to leave a link to a game I'm making right now in the description. If you could give me a wish list, that'd be really, really great. Thanks.